Good morning. Good morning. God bless everybody. We thank God for you this morning. Hallelujah. I guess it would help if I put the mic on. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. God good bless morning. You. And have a smile upon your will. Let's give God a praise for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord. Let's give God a praise for all the things you Lord. Done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings towards the children of men. We would like to welcome you to New Hope Church of Christ. At this time, we're going to have our welcome by Sister Lisa Talley. And we're going to have our morning prayer. We're going to have our scripture read. And we're just going to go on with our service. One of the things that I am I strive to do is to start on time at Amen. 10 a.m. Amen. so that we may be able to praise the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And so I, I have found that when you on on time, we know God is never late. <laughs> when we're on time, God is yeah. never late. Yeah. So we thank God for you, and we're going to ask us to tell if you come up and give our welcome, after which we have our prayer and our scripture reading. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise Him, praise the Lord. We welcome you to the New Hope Church of Christ. On behalf of our pastor, Elder Jimmy Thomas, our First Lady Yolanda Thomas, we welcome you to our worship service. We are located at 5503 Richard Avenue in the great city of Baltimore. Our motto is One Hope, One Soul, One Victory which is based on scripture, Romans 15, verse 13, which says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. If you want to be a part of this dynamic ministry, you may reach out to us on email at newhopecocmd at gmail.com through our website which is www.newhopecoc.church or you may call us at 443-650-8641. Our Sunday worship services are held at 10 a.m. at 5503 Richard Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland 21214, as well as virtually on our Zoom channel and on Facebook Live. Our Bible study sessions are held every Wednesday at evening at 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. For the session number, please visit our church website, www.newhopecoc.church, for this information. For those who join us via Facebook Live, please like and share with your family and friends. Again, we thank you for joining us today, and we pray that you will come again. May God richly bless you and enjoy the rest of your day. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for Sister Lisa. We thank God for the announcements that you have heard. Let us stand and bow our heads with prayer. <clears throat> We have so much to thank the Lord for. So much. Not just allowing us to have this building to worship in, but just that we woke up this morning with our mind stayed on Him. Amen. We woke up this morning with the activity of our limbs. Yes. And even to the fact that we woke up this morning with our mind to go to church. Amen. Amen. Do you realize how many people do not have a mind to go into the house of the Lord? Yeah. Okay. Do you realize how many people don't have a mind to even know how to tie their shoes or to put their clothes on or how to brush their teeth? And they have to be trained how to do these things. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads at this time where you are. We're going to have our uh, prayer and we're going to have our scripture reading in that order. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we stand before you right now in the name of Jesus, that you alone are the one that have kept us all night long. Mm -hmm. Though the storm rage in different parts of the country, we know there are floods, there are fires, 
There's wars. Hallelujah. There are famines. There are pestilence. There are just men hating men. But we're standing here right now in the sanctuary, hallelujah, in your refuge, in your place of safety, Lord. How you have brought us this far by faith, leaning on your everlasting arm. And we thank you this morning, Jesus, that we can raise our hands unto you, Lord. We thank you this morning, Lord, that we have a voice to give you praise. We can say hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Oh, we thank you this morning, Lord, for the Holy Ghost that dwells on the inside. We thank you this morning for the anointing, Lord, that break the yokes, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the praise that endure for a night because we know that the joy of the Lord will come in the morning. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us to be here one more time. We thank you, Lord, for opening these doors that we may be able to come in and worship one to another be able to worship and lift up our voices unto you we pray lord god that you will anoint this service this morning anoint every ear anoint the voice that is carrying the word anoint the pulpit lord anoint the pews lord anoint the front door lord hallelujah bless those who are on their way here Bless those who decided not to come, but we want you to reach out your blessing unto them, Lord. Stir up the spirit that is in them, that they may seek a closer walk with you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to have our scripture reading this morning uh, by Elder Lyons. And, and then after that, we're going to have um, our altar call prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, Deacon Tally is going to be giving us our altar call prayer. This altar call prayer is we just ask that all that those who need prayer or desire prayer or to pray for someone else, if you will come to the altar and we will pray together in the name of Jesus, that the word of the Lord shall go forth and that his spirit of anointing and blessing shall not return unto him void in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Our scripture this morning will be coming from Nehemiah chapter 6, starting at verse 1, ending at verse 4, King James Version. And when you have it, say amen. 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 And it reads, Now it came to pass, when Sanballat and Tobiah and Jessam, the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall, and there was no breach left therein, though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates, that Sanballat and Jezum sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one, in some one of the villages in the plain of the Onam. But they thought to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work, so that I, so that I cannot come down why should the work cease whilst I leave it and come down to you? Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort, and I answered them after the same manner. And this is the word of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We thank God for the reading of his word. We're going to ask now if you desire to have prayer, to be with prayer with us, to pray for someone. You don't have to come. There's no rule that say you have to come. Some people say, I can pray where I am. That's true. You can. You very can. But um, we, I just want you to come to the altar as Elder uh, Minister, Deacon uh, 
<laughs> Deacon Tally comes and he's going to lead us in our prayer, altar call prayer this morning. Um, before he prays, Sister Thomas, do you have any prayer requests that have been raised up to you at this time? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Again, the fruit of your humble servants come before you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Heavenly Jesus. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. Hallelujah. Thank you. We Jesus. thank you for last night's lying down. Hallelujah. And this morning up rising. Yes, Lord. We just thank you for having thank just you. let the blood run warm in our bodies just one more time. Mm. But most importantly, we Hallelujah. thank you for Jesus. Yes, 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 Lord. yes Lord. Heavenly yes, Lord. Father, I can't go any yes, further in this prayer without asking you to forgive me for yes, any sins that yes, I may Lord. have committed or thank you, Lord. were thought of you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Heavenly Father, as I render this prayer, I ask that you come into the house right now. I ask yes, that you bless Lord. from the roof to the base. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, to the front. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, we ask that you go from pew to pew. And touch from breast to breast. Yes. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you just come in when your word is being when your word is being preached. Yeah. Yeah. That someone will yield and say, What must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we ask him for special blessings on that man, boy, girl, yes, who had the desire to be here, but just not the mean. Thank you, Jesus. We ask him that you go into our nursing homes, our yes. hospitals, our prisons, and just reign by the bedside of those who yes. need you most. We need you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we ask him for a Thank special you, blessing on our pastor on us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask yes. that you pump him up on every lane and side. We ask Hallelujah. that you build him up where he's torn down. Hallelujah. And, and give him strength Thank where he Jesus. needs. We ask you for special blessings on his help. Yes. We ask that you continue Thank to guide her and lead her. Lead us. Heavenly Order Father, we ask him for special blessings on that man, boy, or girl Thank who you, had Jesus. nowhere to lay down. Use yes. 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 a curb as a pillow yes. and a dumpster as a restaurant. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask him for special blessings on those who are on their way to the way, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We ask we ask him that you give them traveling yes. mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, mm. we ask him for special blessings on all those who reside in, mm. in this Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Heavenly Father, when it's your time to call, Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. And now it's the hands. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. We ask that you prepare a place Jesus. for us somewhere Jesus. in your kingdom Jesus. where you say savage will have no Jesus. end. Jesus and all of our blessings we ask in the house. Ask and now. In Jesus' name. Jesus. And our soul says amen. 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 Let's give God a praise. Amen. Let's give God a praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody knows the trouble I have seen. Only Jesus knows what he will allow us to go through. We thank God for Deacon Tally with our prayer. We pray that you will send in your prayer request to New Hope COCMD at gmail.com that we may have it on Sunday morning, that we may be able to call out your loved ones in the name of Jesus. I just do want to take mention that we remember Sister Lydia Bayless in your prayers. Uh, we know that she came through. Uh, I'm sure there are many others that I'm not aware of. Pat Kennedy, I know she came through. So she had surgery. So we know there are many more. So just get us the name so we'll know. And so one thing I want to say about the Word of God and about church, and I'm going to, this is going to be a teaching, preaching message. 
Amen. So um, you might want to look back on our YouTube channel for this message later uh, because there's some lessons, some nuggets in it okay. about church. One of the things that I thank God for is being humbled before his presence, knowing that the Lord will make a way out of no way. Yes. Knowing that when the rubber meets the road, God will provide. I, I, I'm amazed at how an airplane will come down out of the sky with all of that weight, luggage, passengers, and gravity. Yeah, yeah. And the pilot has enough skill mm. to bring that plane down to touch the ground without blowing out the tires. Right. And then he brings it down so smooth that he's still in control of the plane. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just imagine your life and Jesus being the pilot, yes. and your yes. life is spiraling out of control, yes. but he wants to bring you down. Hallelujah. He wants to bring you down to earth, and he wants you to hit the, the rubber meets the road. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And he wants you to know that when he brings you to this point, he is still in control. In control. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for you. We're going to ask Sister Thomas if she will um, give us a sermonic hymn. Amen. And after which Amen. we will have the message from the Lord. Um, as you can see, we don't have a long service. Amen. We just have praise for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So come on, Sister Thomas, and uh, give us one of, they say, one of the Lord's songs. <laughs> we, we're not going to hang our harps on the willows. <laughs> But we do want you to sing one of the Lord's songs. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Precious is the Lamb, 
Oh, come and bow down before him. Love and adore him. Sing praises unto him, for he's holy. Holy, 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 holy. Jesus, I guess now is my turn. <laughs> Amen. Uh, we thank God for you that are here this morning. We thank God for you. I'm not going to even say pressing your way out. I'm just going to thank you for coming out. And thank you, Jesus. So I just want to share something with you before I, I get into the word that is on my spirit. Um, for those who are on Zoom and Facebook, um, we have through the Lord's help, knowledge, and ability, <clears throat> we have been able to continue to do Facebook Live and Zoom at the same time. Amen. <clears throat> uh, it's a challenge. Uh, the equipment is different here than my home. Uh, it's a little better here than my home, but uh, it's all right. I'll catch up. Um, but the Lord has allowed those who cannot get out that have been supporting this ministry from the beginning yeah. to still be a part of it. And I just cannot thank him enough for that, for all those who cannot get out and they're homebound and they cannot get out. And so I just want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for all those who follow us on Facebook and YouTube um, and also on the, um, our Zoom Live channel. Uh, if you go to our website, at the very bottom of our website, there's a YouTube link. That will take you to the libraries of all the messages we have preached since the beginning. All of yeah. them. Um, you even see other lines on there. <laughs> so just, just go ahead and do that. Now I just want to say this. <clears throat> In the light and the spirit that I can. You see there are signs up everywhere where they're saying hiring. It's like everybody has an opening. But... They don't really give you the job qualifications until you get there and apply for the job. So we have a piano or, or a little keyboard, an organ, drum set. We have an opening. But I want those who desire to serve the Lord to apply. We have some pews or chairs that are empty. Lord said, he saved such as should be saved. There are those that are going to fill those pews. They're on their way here. They're just trying to find the place, and they're just kind of lost right now. So if you want to be able to come and be a part of New Hope Church of Christ, the address is 5503 Richard Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. We have a job just for you. And that job is serving the Lord, who we were born and called to do. Yeah. So I thank God for that, and I thank God for all that he is doing. Right now, I just want to get my mind into the word of worship, because God has brought us this far by faith. i got to remember to bring my, my mouth up to the mic, because I, I noticed when I played this back last time, uh, it was, the sound was not as great. But when I held my voice to the mic, it, it becomes clear. So I just want to make sure that I remember, if I see you go like that, that means just to, you know, raise the mic to your mouth a little bit, all right? 
You don't have to holler and get loud. Just just raise the right mic to your mouth a bit. So with that being said, I thank God for all of you that are here. I thank God for the word. And the scripture has been read in Nehemiah 4, Nehemiah 6, verses 1 through 4. The scripture has been read. <clears throat> and we know that in the word of God, there is a message. There's a sanctuary. Also, before I get started, I want to give honor to Elder Lyons and Sister Lyons and to Evangelist Brandon for their support of the ministry, and most of all, you, you, and you. So we know that Nehemiah, uh, in chapter 4, you've heard this scripture read so many times. Chapter 4, verse 6. So they built the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the, unto the half thereof, because the people had a mind to work. I, I've heard that many times, so you heard it as well. But then when you get to the sixth chapter, you find that after the work has been done, hallelujah, yeah. after the work has been done, you got some issues. You got some yeah. haters. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, they was hating before the work, but when the work got done, they really began to hate. So let me look at, let us look at the 6 and 3. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 3. And for those who are tuning in on Facebook, I did, and I, and I, I did not introduce myself. I'm Elder Jimmy Thomas, the pastor of New Hope Church of Christ here in the Baltimore metropolitan area. God bless you. Nehemiah. Chapter 6, verse 3. And when and I sent messengers unto them, saying, I'm doing a great work so that I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? Hallelujah. Our text this morning is, I'm committed yeah. to the work. Yeah. I'm committed to the work. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you again for your many blessings. We thank you for the word that is brought before us this morning. We pray that you will expound through this vessel, Lord, the word. Make it clear. Make it plain on the things that you would have us to hear and see through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Nehemiah is the story of rebuilding the walls of, Jer of Jerusalem, uh, which took place in the 5th century before Christ. It is part of the long history of that, ter of that troubled city, which is still troubled even today. I'm sure you hear about the news of Jerusalem and fighting in Gaza with the Palestinians. So it is still going on today. Only The only knowledge of Nehemiah comes from the book that bears his name. Uh, in Hebrew, Nehemiah means God the Comforter or God the Comfort. God or God will comfort. He was the cupbearer for the king of Persia. As the cupbearer of the king, that meant that he had privilege uh, and responsibility to appear before the king on a regular basis. Upon receiving the news of the desolated state of Jerusalem, he obtained permission to go to his home country. Jerusalem was burned and the walls of the city was torn down. Uh, all military, civil, and religious leaders were either executed or they were carried away into captivity. Only the poorest of the peasants uh, of Judah was allowed to remain in the surrounding lands, which was now a place of complete desolation. 
I'm so glad that God this morning has always provided a way for escape. Hallelujah. Somebody will the heart, somebody will with a heart for God's people and God's word will stand up and be counted and say, what must I do in the name of Jesus? This is why we are reminded that the meek shall inherit the earth uh, because you cannot be proud and puffed up to be able to do the work of the Lord. And so one day Nehemiah came before the king and he was as he was done so many times and he said to the king oh, excuse me his countenance had fallen and he said he looked sad upon his face the king inquired of him because he had never come before the king that way before he had always been on top of his game he was cheerful had nothing to worry about so the king inquired Nehemiah what's wrong and Nehemiah told him that he had received some bad news uh, from his homeland, from his brethren, that the land had been in ruins. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The wall of his house, his home city had been leveled. The temple walls lay waste and the gate was all burnt down. So Nehemiah asked permission of the king that he may be allowed to return to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls and to resurrect the gates or re-erect re the gates that had been burnt down. So the king gave him leave to do so. God has favor. Look at the favor of God. If you ask you shall receive. Hallelujah. If you knock, it shall be open unto you. Amen. Can you imagine the king of Persia having a cupbearer who came before him looking all sad and, and, and all trotting down and he asked him, what is wrong? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And he tells him that my homeland is in desolate. My people are scattered. The gates are all torn down. It looks real bad for us, but somehow in the king's heart. Uh, he gave him permission and I thank God uh, he also gave him a letter that he can take uh, that, that nobody can stop him from doing the work uh, that God had called him to do. Look at what God has done. Do you know that you have a letter that has been given you authority to go out into the hedges and the highways and to compel men to come before you? Yeah, that letter yeah. is the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. However, Nehemiah, he did more than build the walls, uh, uh, rebuild the walls. As we will learn, the book documents the history of the restoration of a people from ruin and despair to a new walk with God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Look yes. at what Nehemiah did. Uh, he took a flock that was scattered. Uh, he took a place that was desolate. And God showed him a vision, uh, a vision of rebuilding the wall. That's why the Bible says, uh, take the vision, Jesus, write Jesus. it down, and make yes, it plain yes, yes, yes. that the people may be able to see that God is behind it. So we find here that Jerusalem is not only a historic city, which has for centuries been the center of the Bible and of the nation of Israel, uh, but in fact, uh, the center of, of everything, the biblical, biblical situations have surrounded Jerusalem. Jerusalem is also used as a pictorial scene throughout the scriptures. When the city was first designated to King David as a place where God wanted him to dwell to yes. build his temple, yes. he was told that there was a place. This is a place where God wants to dwell among his people. Jerusalem therefore became throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament was a picture of a place where God wanted to dwell. Yeah, yeah, However, yeah. it is only a picture of where God wanted to dwell. It is not the actual place where God dwells according to the New Testament. Man is the dwelling place of yeah, God in yeah, the New Testament. Yeah. God seeks to dwell in human spirit, in the human body. Hallelujah. So we find that that the people were in trouble. They were feeling a great sense of disgrace and reproach. That's what sin will do for you. Jesus. It will give you a sense of disgrace and reproach. So the walls of the city was broken down by Nebuchadnezzar about 140 years earlier. Just imagine a, a place that was torn down and burnt down 140 years ago. Jesus. 
Don't you know that trees and rubble has begun to grow? Hallelujah. Don't you know that the wildlife begin to grow? Can you imagine if you let your spiritual body be run down? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't pray. You don't fast. You don't read the word. You don't go into the service. Nobody can tell you nothing. Can you imagine how run down and how beat up your soul would be? It would be like Jerusalem. It would be a desolate place uh, where nobody can even go and stand it. Uh, it was a shame to even look upon. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Perhaps... Uh, uh, thank you, Jesus. So if Jerusalem was a symbol, uh, is a symbol of our lives, uh, that would fit many of us today. Um, it, perhaps many uh, right here this morning might fit that description. But we find here that anticipating opposition, Nehemiah didn't tell anybody what he was going That's to do right. Right. until he had seen the work for himself. Yes. If you all remember a little while ago, I asked you not to say anything because God was about to do a work. Yes. And so Nehemiah, he didn't tell anybody. He went on a secret midnight run just to see how things were. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Nehemiah came to the city of Jerusalem and he was there to and he viewed the walls and his heart was crushed. His spirit was crushed. Yes. Apparently, the walls was in such a state of ruin and the rubble and the debris was so bad that he could not even ride his animal through it. The, it was just Jesus. so bad and bushed and, and all grown up. He could not ride his animal. It was in a state of despair. Disrepair. It is important that we do the same thing. We have to examine ourselves. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Doesn't that sound like something in 1 Corinthians 11 chapter? Let a man or a woman examine themselves. We must face the fact that as that, that what we are, we must face the facts. That as we are, we must be able to say amen to that. Yes, we yes. have to be able to look above ourselves and look at ourselves and think we have to name the problem, acknowledge the problem. Oh, thank you, Jesus, to ourselves. And we have to say that it's true. Uh, let me just give you a teaching moment here. When you look in the mirror and you say, okay, wait a minute. I got to acknowledge I've got a bad attitude. Jesus, I, I got to claim that. When you look in the mirror, I've got to acknowledge that I got a smart mouth. I got to name, I got to claim that. Ah, thank you, Jesus. When you look in the mirror and you say, I don't care, you got to claim that. You got to name it. Ah, if you look in the mirror and you say, What's in it for me? You got to name it. You got to claim that. That's you that you're looking at in the mirror. Jesus. I know some people say when you look at the man about Michael Jackson and he talks about the man in the mirror I'm looking at the man in the mirror I think the song says he's got to change his ways I am the man in the mirror I've got to change my ways I've got to get a new attitude I've got to bridle my tongue I've got to care about those around me and I've got to be able to not be so newsy, as y'all would say. I know the word is nosy, but out here on the East Coast, they say newsy. Uh, in everybody's business, uh, what did they say? What did this one say? And I heard, I thought, the Bible says you got to name that. We must not try to cover them up and make excuses. Yeah, here's a yeah. favorite one. Elder Lyons, here's a good one. Well, you know, that's just Elder Thomas. That's just how he is. <laughs> Oh, I'm still preaching, right? Okay. So, we try to cover it up. We try to normalize yeah, 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 our yeah. abnormal behavior. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We always, we're like a deflector. 
it bounces off of you onto somebody else. Jesus. I remember when I used to run up and down the highway. I had a radar detector. That's right. I always tried to get the best on the market. That's right. I always tried to stay one radar detector technology ahead of the law enforcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the concept of a radar de detector is that when the, 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 the policeman fire the radar gun, or as the radar is going down the beam, your car will receive it and reflect it off of you. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Well, see, there is two schools of thoughts on this. There is an evil way, and there is a good way. Yeah. yeah. The evil way is that you don't want to acknowledge that you are a sinner, and so when these things come upon Jesus. you, you deflect them away. But it's really for you. Now, that's what some people do. Now, on the other side of that, the good way, when when the devil sends troubles your way, Jesus. the Bible says that we shall put on the whole armor of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shall put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, hallelujah. Have our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. So when he fires the fiery darts against us, yeah. they will be deflected away yeah. from us. Yeah. So that's yeah. the one that you want. You want the good way. So yeah. in order for them to build, or in order for you to build your strength spiritually, you must hold on to God's unchanging hand to stand fast. Uh, let God see you through. As we continue to be a church in transition from in per from virtual to in person, it is important that we spend time in prayer yes, and devotion yes, to yes, God yes. as we move through the various stages of transition. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There are no big eyes and little U's. We all have to put our hands to the plow. Yes, yes, uh, I've yes, got yes. to do what everybody else got to do. Yes. I got to do what the Lord has called me to do, but I will do what it takes to make sure that the ministry is a success Jesus. because it is more about God than about me. Amen. So we find here that he wept as he saw the walls of his beloved city leveled and the gate was and the city was burnt to the ground as i said before his heart was crushed you may look over your life and you may see there are places where your spiritual walls are broken down or knee or have Jesus, cracks Jesus. you may be struggling uh, to resist the, 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 the destructive touch you may be resist you may be struggling to resist the destructive attacks that the devil is firing at you you have perhaps fallen victim to a sinful habit Jesus, that you Jesus, find difficult Jesus. if not impossible to break yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, city yeah. this hallelujah, is the kind of ruin hallelujah. that we are describing yeah, here yeah, this Lord. great book of Nehemiah is one that is most helpful we have we have a book to show us how to overcome a broken life, yeah. a broken anguish. Yeah. So now we have to let the Lord pick us up and turn us around. He's showing you how when things look bad, yeah. when the night seems dark, yeah. oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, God will see you through. You, so Thank he you, rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem. As the, 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 the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem is considered a type of um, shoring up your temple, hallelujah. The walls broken down typifies the defenses of the temple are weak, but not altogether destroyed. That's okay, right, that's that right, again. that's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, the walls broken down typifies the defenses of the temple are weak, but not altogether yeah. broke, destroyed. From the message last week, Revelation 8 and 3, if you recall, it says, for thou hast a little strength and have kept my word and have not denied my name. So I know that there is some strength in the house. It may not be what it was a year ago, but there is some strength in the house. There is prayer in the house. There is devotion in the house. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, hallelujah. I'm committed to the work. So Nehemiah, he sacrificed a fine job to do the work of God. Yes. This yes, lets yes, us yes. know that sacrificial service is always needed when it comes to a great work to be accomplished. Amen. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Let me say that again. Thank you, Lord. We have to sacrifice sometimes. Yes. You have to bite your tongue yeah. sometimes. Yeah. You have to just go ahead and do it sometime. Yeah. I may not understand everything, Elder Lions, right. but you asked me to do it, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. If you ask me in the name of Jesus with a humble spirit, not proud and haughty, I believe I can, I can accommodate that. Yeah. But yeah. we don't want to look in the mirror and see that things are being deflected off of us. Because Jesus, we don't want to do it. Now this brings me to my scripture today. Hallelujah. Uh, my scripture text today. I am committed to the work. If you look closely, you will see how Nehemiah is teaching us to overcome and convert hindrances into spiritual growth. Yeah, Let me yeah, just yeah. give you a few. He took the ridicule that he received from the people and he converted that to overcome the confidence in God. Jesus, he took Jesus. the wrath and contempt and he overcame by prayer and hard work. Yeah. He took conspiracy and he overcame by watching and praying. Yeah. He took yeah. selfish oh. greed and Hallelujah. he overcame by rebuke and self-sacrifice. Don't you know that God will bring you through yeah. when man is kicking you down? On the road. God will give you the ability to roll. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When man is punching you, he will give you the ability to bob and leave. To bob and leave. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I don't want to. Jesus will never throw in the towel because he knows you're his champion. He says we are more than overcomers. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So all you have to do when you're committed to the work, you just bob and weave. You know he's going to come at you, but you just bob and weave. Hallelujah. You may take a punch every now and then, but you just ah, you bounce back in the name of Jesus. I know God will make a way in the name of Jesus. I know God, he will move that mountain, he will give you strength to climb, if you're committed to the work, you will see him open doors, if you're committed to the work, you will see him heal your body, if you're committed to the work, you will see him make a way out of nowhere, ah, hallelujah, if you're committed to the work, you will see what the Lord can do, he will give you favor among your enemies if you're committed to the work. Oh, hallelujah. Nehemiah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. After Nehemiah had went out and surveyed the wall, he came back. He got everybody together and put them... He said, now I want y'all to put away your differences. Yeah. Ah, I want you to bury the hatchet, but not in each other. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We have enough external problems. Why we want to fight among ourselves? The enemy's at the gate trying to destroy us, and we're trying to destroy ourselves. So we find here that the mission of Nehemiah was in two parts. One part was to repair the breach. And the other part was to rebuild the wall. If you have a breach in your wall that is broken, before you can build the wall, you have to repair the breach first. You gotta get rid of the rift. You gotta get rid of the gaps. You gotta get rid of the cracks. You gotta get rid of the ism. You gotta get rid of the schism. You gotta get rid of the backbiting. You gotta get rid of the gossip. Oh, hallelujah. You gotta get rid of that proud look, that haughty man. You got to let him go. So you have to do these things before we can sit down and reason together. So Nehemiah showed them that this is the right thing to do and this is the work that we have to do. Because there is one body, but many members. Every member has his own function within the body. No one member is more important than the other. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
notice that everyone was involved. The priests began to work. A number of the rulers began to work. Two men standing side by side. Each other, them getting their hands dirty, working on the wall. Just to give you some example of who all was in there. Elder Lyons, you might want to turn that um, AC on now. Nigga. I'm about to... I feel like a duck. I feel like a chicken on a rotisserie oven. When sin ballot, let me just show you those who were doing the work. The gatekeeper was doing some work. The guards were doing some work. The farmers was doing some work. The teachers were doing some work. Ah, the jeweler was doing some work. The pharmacist was doing some work. The merchant was doing the work. The temple guards and temple servants was doing the work. And I just want to point out something in Nehemiah 3 and 12. There were women directly involved in the work. Hallelujah. So everybody, everybody was doing something for the work. There was no arguing with Nehemiah. There was no complaining to Nehemiah. When they got together, he said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to rebuild these walls. We're going to put the gates back up because that's what the Lord has shown me yes, to do. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So now when Sinbalat, he got the walls up now. And I'll tell you how many days later, but he got the wall up. They got the walls up. So Sinbalat and his gang heard that they had put aside their differences and had come together uh, to build a wall. They were angry uh, at first. Their opposition was confined to jokes and insults. That's right. Oh, That's thank right. you, Jesus. Can I bring this home a little bit? Can I bring this home? Uh, when they, they, as long as we were virtual, they laughed. Jesus, Jesus. And they joked. Hallelujah. As long as we didn't have a building, yeah. it's not going to last. Yeah. It's not going to make it. And even some people even quoted scriptures in the New Testament. That when the Lord is in, in the midst, he said, leave these men alone. When Peter and them was brought before the council, he said, leave these men alone. If it be of God, if it, if it does not be of God, it shall come to naught. And if it be of God, no man can stop it. Jesus, well, I'm Jesus. here to let you know this morning Jesus, that Jesus. it be of God and no man can stop it. I believe the Lord told me in, 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 in the Lord told me in Revelation 3 and 8, I have set before you an open door and no man can shut. Ah, just let him keep on talking. Uh, we thank God for the press. We thank God for the unsolicited promotion. I thank God for the free press. The more you talk about me, the more people want to come and see. Ah, what's all the noise over there in West Baltimore? Is it East? What's all the noise over there in East Baltimore? Over there on Richard Avenue off of Harvard Road. I hear there's something going on over there. Yeah, there's a group of people that is making a lot of noise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now look at uh, what the Lord has done. And they began to build the walls. They joked an insult. However, when they saw the rapid progress, uh, they began to despise and they begin to predict failure and to re predict failure. And so as it is set now into a frenzy, the Samaritans are upset. So they formed a conspiracy to surprise uh, Nehemiah, uh, to demolish their work, uh, to intimidate the builders. The plot was uncovered uh, to Nehemiah and the people. God will let you know when there is a trap set before you that's right, that's uh, right. by your enemies. That's why our steps need to be ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Uh, I, I got this old car out there, uh, Sister Penny. It's an old car, but it has a, a GPS system in it. And so the GPS system is a real-time traffic gatherer. Uh, so sometime when I'm on the highway, it tells me to take a left right here. Now I know where I'm going. I, I'm, a, I'm a human. Right. I'm smart. I know where I'm going. Right. 
I don't know where you're trying to take me, but I know where I'm going. See, the, the GPS had read the traffic uh, far ahead of where I'm going uh, because he already knew the route I was going to take. Uh, Jesus, Jesus. God already knows the route that you're going to take. Yeah. Uh, he is your GPS system. Uh, he told the Duke, the system told me to turn right and get off here. Ah, uh, but the first time... Uh, I told my wife, I said, I don't know what this system is talking about. It must be crazy. I'm going to keep on this road. And within a few minutes later, we ran right into a traffic jam. I said, man, if I would have got off on that exit, if I would have got off like the computer told me, we wouldn't be caught up in this mess. Look at what God showed you. He knows where you're going. He knows the road you travel. He knows what you're going through. He knows you cry at night. He knows you're lonely. He knows you got troubles in your heart. He knows all about it. He knows you got sleepless nights. He knows your pantry's empty. He knows your bills need to be paid. But I want you to take this detour. I want you to turn right here. I know you can't see what's ahead of you, but I'm going to guide your steps Jesus, in the name Jesus. of the Lord. So look at what the enemy did. When Sanballat, Tobiah, and Gershom heard the walls were being rebuilt, they laughed to scorn and despised them and said, what do you think you're going, doing? And so we find here that Nehemiah is committed to the work. As we move our church forward in a holistic fashion, there will be those who will laugh and ridicule the church. The enemy will try any method yes. to divert you, to get your attention off the work. Yeah. Uh, I believe they will say, why don't you come over and sing with us on this Sunday? Why don't you come over and visit our church on this Sunday? But I want you to tell them I'm doing a great work yeah. and I yeah, cannot yeah. come down. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They may laugh and say the church won't grow, but that's all right. They laughed at Moses, and look what he did. Yeah, yeah. They laughed at Jeremiah, and look what he did. They laughed at Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, look what he did. Oh, they laughed at Noah, but look at what he did. So I'm committed to the work. The Bible says... When the wall of the city was finally completed, and but the doors were not up yet, Simbala, Tobiah, they grew jealous and sent word to Nehemiah to meet them in the plains. And one of the plains was called Ono. That right there should tell you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that should tell you. You don't want to go to a place called Ono. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we find here that they asked him, I want you to meet us in the plains of Ono. And so Nehemiah, oh, thank you, Jesus. They sent for him. I just can't imagine uh, with my spiritual eye that they asked him to come down to the local Starbucks and let's have a latte. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Not to congratulate him, but to harm him. They did this four times. This is why the Bible says that we must be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. They made this attempt to stop the work. They knew that if they could cut down Nehemiah, they could stop the work. They went after the head and not the body. So Nehemiah had invested himself in the vision of the work. Nehemiah had committed himself to the vision of the work. The finish line was in sight. Nehemiah refused to be distracted. I'm committed to the work. Nehemiah gave a, a simple and excellent reply. Ah, thank you, Jesus. His response re reveals uh, a mixture of courage and wisdom. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When he, con 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 when he, uh, when we are confident that the thing that we're doing is exactly what God wants us to do, or should I say, when you know what you know what you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody can distract you. So four times uh, they sent word to this great leader. 
but he said we must meet in the land of Ono. And so Nehemiah simply responded, I am doing a great work and I cannot come down. I am committed to the work. Nehemiah put forth a question that they could not answer. This is the question you want to ask the sinner. Uh, should I say, this is the question you want to ask the detractor. Why should I leave the work and stop the work and come down to be with you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just like Jesus, uh, they challenged him. Uh, if you could save others, uh, why don't you come down? and save yourself. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. They said this twice. In Matthew 27, 40 and 42, he saved others, and why don't he save himself? Come on down and save yourself. But see, church, we have to be careful that we don't come down to their level. Yes. We're trying to move the church forward like Nehemiah. This is a great work. It is bigger than you and I. Saints, we have to work together. Stand against opposition. Stand against liars. Stand against troublemakers. Stand against backbiters. Stand against the devil himself. Don't you know that when you are committed to the work, now look at what Nehemiah and the people did. Despite the intense opposition, he and the Jews rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem and put the gate, well, the gates were not up, but they put, they built the walls of Jerusalem. And to be Jew, Nehemiah, they was devoted to the work and they did it in 52 days. So now I want you to take the magnitude of yes, what God yes, has done. Yes. They took a place yes. that had been desolate for 142 years and the doors had been burnt down and the walls had cracks and holes and they got together two by two family by family and they put up the brick in the mortar nobody complained that my brick was heavier than your brick nobody complained that my mortar was heavier than your mortar they just put their hand to do the work because they were committed to the work when you are committed to the work you will make sacrifices when you are committed to the work you will tell the devil get thee behind me Satan I've got work to do when you are committed to the work you will be where you need to be when you are committed to the work God will open doors church we got to be careful yeah, yeah. I want you to look at that last part of the message. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Nehemiah asked the question. He asked the question. Why should the work stop? Right. And I leave it. Right. And come down to you. God has elevated you to a great work. Jesus, Jesus. God has elevated you Amen. to a great work. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Don't let the detractors bring you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was written for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah had been elevated above them amen hallelujah amen so he said why should i come down to you and if you notice in the scripture they never answered the question they just kept kept sending asking him to come down that's right jesus to the last time they wrote a letter and threatened him that they were going to tell the king that he was trying to take over and make himself a king and he said there's no such thing Right. Yeah. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't let them bring you down. Stay mm -hmm. where God has put you. Yeah. So when in my conclusion, it is important that we stay committed mm -hmm. to the work. Yes. Now let me let me just explain that for me. It's not about Elder Thomas. 
That's right. That's it's right. not about Sister Thomas. That's right. It's not about this edifice. It is about your relationship with God. Yes. Amen. 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 Because I tell you, when things are right on the inside, yes. they get right on the outside. Yes. That's yes. right. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says in Acts 1 and 8 that after you have received power, yes. after you have received power, on the inside, it will help you on the outside. That's right. We are in a war. Mm -hmm. This war is not with guns and knives and things. It's against spiritual wickedness. That's right. In high places. That's right. That's principalities. Right. Mm, yeah. And I'm going to tell you right here, I know this is live, there are people who don't want to see you succeed. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. If you notice, let me just bring this home now. If you notice, they have been in a ruin for 142 years. Mm -hmm. Simbalit, Tobiah, Gershon, and all of them never lifted a finger. Mm -hmm. Never said, here's a donation. Let me plant a seed in your ministry. Let me help you with that. Not one of them offered to help. But as soon as they picked up a brick to begin to repair the breach, as soon as they came together as a people and put aside their petty differences, Jesus. that's when they got angry and jealous. Jesus, Jesus. I like you better when you didn't have nothing. All right. Yeah. I like you better when you was wandering around virtually didn't have a church home. I like you better when you didn't know where your next meal was going to come from. Right, 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 right. I like you better when I was on top of you. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. Nehemiah showed them, I'm not coming down. I'm not coming down. This is a great work, and I'm not coming down. Some are going to leave. Yeah. Some are going to come. That's right. That's right. But I'm not coming down. That's right. Some will try to change the program. Mm. Some may want to add to the program. Yeah. I'm not coming down. That's right. We're going to stay the course. Mm. We're going to be led by the Spirit of God. So just look at what they did. God took something that had been destroyed over 142 years and took a group of people and put it together in 52 days. Jesus. Now, as I close, this is the part that's going to blow your mind. They did all of this with the enemy standing and watching. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. See y'all got it. They did all of this with the enemy standing and watching. There was nothing they could do to stop it. All they could do is watch God work. Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah. Jesus. Watch God work. So now if you have a response. I'm committed to the work. Yes. I'm doing a great work. And I'm not coming down. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not coming down. God bless you, saints of God. God bless you. Let's give God a praise for the word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm committed to the work. I'm committed to the work. Thank you, Lord. This is a great work. It's a sacrifice. I, I had said to you all before, your sabbatical, your virtual sabbatical is over. That's it. It's over. So whatever clothes you gotta get clean, whatever clock you need to adjust to, to set it again, you need to get it together. Because we have a great work to do. Amen. Amen. And it's going to take all of us. 
I know God is going to bless us with a musician. I know God is going to bless us with a choir that wants to sing for yes. the Lord. Yes. I yes. know he's going to do that. I have asked him for this building, and he gave it to us Amen. for our use. Thank you, Lord. So um, I'm going for broke. <laughs> Of course. Oh, you you gonna do that? Well, wait a minute. I got a few more things. You know, let me, let me get my list out. I'm like my little my little grandson turned 12, and um, his birthday was coming up. You see, we all on we got iPhones. We all on. So he shared his birthday list with all of us. He shared it, so he knew exactly who was gonna get him what. By us checking off his list. And he kept adding to the list daily yeah. as such as should be purchased. That's right. <laughs> so he was saying, by the way, since you got my list, here's a few more things I want. But look at God. Not that God is a magician or he's but what I'm saying is that God says, um, if you submit yourself unto him. Yeah. He will give you your heart desires. That's right. I think it says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And that's what we're doing in New Hope. We're waiting. And this is a paradigm shift. We're waiting and moving forward at the same time. It's a paradigm shift. Amen. We're waiting and moving forward. There are going to be days, I know there are going to be Sundays on the line. Yes. It's going to be me, you, Penny, and about three others. Yeah. That's right. But that's okay. That's right. That's okay. We're committed to the work. There are going to be days that all these seats are going to be filled. That's right. And you're going to be having somebody saying, okay, um, do we have any more chairs put out? Because we're committed that's right. to the work. So with that being said, we thank God for you. We thank God for all that he has done. I'd like now to open up the doors of the church for discipleship. Let, let us all stand. Amen. Amen. If you have not come to the Lord in the pardoning of your sins, why don't you come at this time? We have water. We will baptize you. We have teachers that will teach you. The Bible says that we must all come to the knowledge mm -hmm. of the truth. That's right. You cannot receive something if you don't know what you're receiving. Amen. Right? Amen. Now, some restaurants you go to, they have, I call them mystery meat. <laughs> I don't like to eat stuff. I don't know what it is. Amen. So when we come to the Lord, we want to teach you about salvation. We want to show you salvation. Shaking my hand and getting on the wall, that is great. But I got a surprise for you. I don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. That's right. I can't save you. That's right. The Lord will save you. Amen. That's why when Peter on the book of Acts, they he told them about themselves and how they had made, they had crucified the one that God had made the chief stone. Mm. And they were pricked in their hearts. And they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And I know we've added to it, what shall we do to be saved? But the scripture just says, what shall we do? And he told them to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now that's the word. I can't, you can't argue with that. That's the word. So, if you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ, why don't you come? We extend our, our, our hand of salvation. We extend our hand of discipleship. If you do not have a church home and you would like to make new hope your church home based on your uh, confession, your Christian experience, or your, uh, or your desire to be baptized, you can come. You can come. The doors of the church are open. And I may say that you know now where to find us. Amen. You don't have to reach out to me through email. You don't have to reach out through phone. You can come right here at 53, 5503 
Richard Acton in Baltimore, Maryland. Why don't you come? I thank God for you and God bless you and heaven smile upon you. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank God for you. We just want to uh, transition, uh, maybe see it, transition into our uh, so quick instruction for offering. Uh, there's an offering basket in the back uh, by Sister Rochelle. On your way out, please leave your offering uh, if you have one. Uh, if you can, you can go to our website, you can go to our Zelle account, and you can go to our cash app. Uh, if you notice that when we were virtual, we didn't stop to take up an offering, and we did all right. I think if we continue that process, we'll be all right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. So don't forget that there is an offering basket in the back on your way out. Just a little shell is there. Or you can use one of these mediums um, to send your electronic contribution into New Hope Church, New Hope COC Church, or to our Zelle account, or to our Cash App account. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. I don't think I have any more announcements, do I? Thank you, Jesus. Again, God bless you for coming. Pray to see you again. Just remember. We have a work to do, Amen. and we have to be committed to the work. Amen. And God will bless your commitment. He will bless your faithfulness to his work. So like I said before, I'm praying for a choir that wants to sing, and I'm praying for a musician that wants to play for the Lord. It's going to happen. It, it's not about, it's, it's when. It's just when. And, and I don't want to be like the prophet say, by this time next year. <laughs> by this time next year. You know, I say, by this time tomorrow. By this time this. God's going to do it. That's right. And we're going to look up one day, and they're going to be here. I just know it. That's what I'm standing on. Because I'm committed to the work. Yeah. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. We're going to ask on the lines if he will come and give our benediction. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, we got one question we need to answer ourselves and look in the mirror and say, Are we committed <coughs> to the work? Amen. 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 Let us stand that we may do our benediction. Amen. Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God, that you have gathered us and brought us together just one more time, Lord God, that we may unite and worship you in the beauty of holiness. Lord God, we have learned today that we need to be committed to the work. And Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to be a part of this great work. We thank you for our pastor who had brought us a word from on high, Lord God. We thank you that you have, he allowed you to use him that your word might go forth as someone might yield and say, what must I do to be saved? Now, Lord, we come to the end of this service, but not an end to our commitment. The Lord bless us and keep us, and the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace this day. And all the believers say amen. 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 And amen. Amen. Have you, have you shut down?